What's up amigos? Today we're looking at the Paraview tutorial number one, and this is how to import a file into Paraview. So some of you have been asking how do I do this on my uh, CFD stuff that I do on Premiere Dynamics um, CFD videos. So we're going to go through that today. So the first thing is just to download Paraview and install it. Once you've installed it, you can open it. It's going to have a different background to what we have here. This is just the background that I've put for it, and you can change it by with this panel on the left coming all the way down background usually it would be single color gradient or image i've clicked image then i've loaded our brand here once you've done that or whatever you want to do you come to file to import the file that you want to and you say open and for this i'm going to be opening this file so this is a simulation that i've done on a mango it's we've done a video on it and you can find it later uh, in our playlists. This is from OpenFo. But Paraview can open a bunch of different file formats. So let's go through some of the more popular. One is Ansys, another one is um, Insight, another one is Fluent, where are the Fluent cases, and then also Foam and a bunch of others. So once you click the file that you want, you just press OK. And then you get this little pop-up here. We haven't loaded it in properly yet because what we want to do is you can select what you want to show. We can change this later on if we like. But I'm just going to click apply now and this should pop up what we have. So what we have now is just this cube. And to rotate it, I'm clicking the left mouse button and just dragging, holding that and dragging. So what is this? The region down here, where my mouse is, that's telling us what this is. So this is a, the mesh regions. You can use Paraview for anything really, but this is um, tutorials for CFD because we have the internal mesh. So if I don't want to see the internal mesh, I can just click it off and press apply. And now we won't see anything. If I just want to see the mango, I can click the mango, click apply, apply, and now I have the mango. And what you can see is that it's colored and this is by default. Whenever you load a CFD file into a power view, it's going to load the pressure distribution on the actual object. And you can change this by scrolling down to this coloring file here. And I can change it to whatever I want. So I can change it to the velocity and then it changes and I can change these color bars. I'm not going to go into how to change that in this, in this tutorial. That will be a different tutorial. So make sure to check out the playlist that we have in this card here. What I want to do is change this to the internal mesh. And now we have the cube. This is the entire internal mesh. Now, this doesn't really show us too much. So what I want to do is click this off so you can't see it. it's invisible and reload the mango again. Now it is time. I'm going to click the mango on, click the internal mesh off and click apply. And now I have two files effectively. One, which is showing the mango and one which is for the internal mesh. This is important because when you want to do post-processing, you can now use this invisible file to make planes, clips, do streamlines, and then you can still keep the mango um, visible so you can see what's happening. Again, I'm not gonna go through that in this tutorial. This will be in another tutorial, for example, in the tutorial where we show you how to do streamlines or planes. If you want to know how to do them, check out the playlist again. If you want to get better at CFD, including Paraview with the post analysis, check out our CFD courses, link in the description. And make sure to like, subscribe, and check out the instrumentation we do at Pronounce. We have the Atmosphere Hawk, we have experimental instrumentation to make your CFD easier to validate. And check out the comments we put on every year. Links in the description. Peace out.